today we will discuss about internal energy of a molecule the speed of sound in gas and how they are related to the degrees of freedom of a molecule with an example from j e advanced so let me first show you the question we are trying to solve today an ideal gas is in thermodynamic equilibrium the number of degrees of freedom of a molecule of the gas is n the internal energy of one mole of gas is un and the speed of sound in the gas is vn at a fixed temperature and pressure which of the following is the correct option this is the question we are trying to solve the four options are given but before that we will look into the theory of each of the following so first we need to understand how the internal energy of a gas is dependent on number freedom of the gas for that we will have to look at the equipartition principle or the law of equipartition of energy the law of equipartition of energy states that the total energy is equally distributed in all possible energy modes with each mode having an average energy equal to half kbt that means for each degree of freedom of a molecule the average energy in each of them is equal to half kbt where kb is the boltzmann constant and t is the temperature so for a molecule with n degree the total energy internal energy will be un equal to n times half kbt or we can write it as n by 2 kbt so we can say that the increases linearly or proportionally with the increase in degrees of freedom of the molecule or in mathematical way we can say that u1 is less than u2 less than u3 and so on and so forth now let's go to the speed of sound for that we have to use laplace formula v equal to square root of gamma p by rho where gamma is the adiabatic constant p is the pressure and rho is the density so in the question it is given that the pressure and all the external circumstances is constant so in this case uh, the speed of sound in gas depends is varying only based on the adiabatic constant this formula is from the chapter waves but to know the adiabatic constant we will have to go to the thermodynamics chapter we defined gamma as v or it can equivalently be written as n plus 2 by n where n is the number of degrees of freedom of the molecule when the degree of freedom is 1 we get gamma equal to 3 similarly for n equal to 2 we get gamma equal to 2 you can do that by simply substituting in the equation and for n equal to 3 it will be 5 by 3 and n equal to 4 it will be 3 by 2 and etc so as a general trend we can see that gamma decreases as the degree of freedom increases so if we go back to the previous equation we can see as gamma decreases the speed of sound also decreases hence we can say that the speed of sound decreases as the degree of freedom of the gas molecule increases so we can say v1 will be greater than v2 which will be greater than v3 and so now let's come back to the question and with all the information we have uh, taken so far you can tr try to solve the question your own if you need more time you can pause the video or i will give you a few seconds if you need more you can always take more by pausing the video so i'm hoping that you all were able to find out the answer 
So the correct answer is option C. V5 will be greater than V7 and U5 will be less than U7. So as we can see, internal energy increases as the degrees of freedom increase and the speed of sound decreases as the number of degrees of freedom of the molecule increases. So I hope you all understood it. So this question kind of is an example of how J advances. So even though the answer once you learn the concepts are very simple, you need to know a lot of things. So the first thing, the internal energy part comes from the kinetic energy chapter. So you need to know about the equipartition principle, etc. And then to know the speed of sound in gas, you need to know the Laplace equation from the waves chapter. And then to know about adiabatic constant, you need to know about the thermodynamics and again kinetic theory. So even to answer like a simple question, you need to know a lot of things and should be able to make the connections very fast. So I hope you all learned something today and we'll see you.